It is election time in South Korea. South Koreans are voting in parliamentary elections and the polls will choose who will sit in the country's 300-member parliament. These elections are a major political test for President Yoon suk yeol whose popularity has suffered amid a cost-of-living crisis and a spate of political scandals. In a record turnout, more than 30% of eligible voters have already cast their ballots in two days of early voting last week. Now, the remaining voters can cast their ballot with the polling station set to close at 6 p.m. Currently, the opposition Democratic Party of South Korea holds 142 out of 297 total seats, while the President's People Power Party has 101 seats to its name. The hotly contested election is largely seen as a referendum on the President Yoon suk yeol The South Korean President is about to enter the third year of his five-year presidential term. His approval ratings remain low amid the doctor's strike rising food prices and allegations of corruption, which could spell trouble for his People Power Party. The polls are separate from Yoon's presidential term, but the result of these polls, the result of these elections, may have a bearing on the future of Yoon suk yeols presidency, as the party, which has an absolute majority in the National Assembly, has the ultimate power to call for a referendum on the country's president. So if the opposition wins 200 seats or more, Yoon suk yeol faces the risk of impeachment. Pouncing on the president's approval rating, the opposition Democratic Party, which already dominates the 300-member legislature, hammered Yoon suk yeol and his Conservative People Power Party for mismanaging the economy and failing to rein in inflation. Moreover, in recent weeks, green onions have gone from a simple staple of Korean cooking to a powerful symbol of water anger over rising prices in Asia's fourth biggest economy. First, I think we need to vote for a candidate who understands realistic problems and suggests policies that immediately deals with them for people's livelihoods. In order to do so, it is important to know about the candidate rather than the party first. Of course, it is important to consider the candidate's party too, but only voting based on a party does nothing but divide people. All right, for more on this, we are joined by Voice of America correspondent Bill Gallo, who joins us from Seoul. Bill, always a pleasure speaking with you. Reports suggest that candidates in about 50 to 55 local districts are in neck-to-neck -neck races. What are you picking up from the ground? How do you see this one going? Well, it seems like there's a lot of people voting, and it seems like it will be relatively close, or at least that's what it, that's what it seems like at this very early phase. In fact, we cannot tell. Like many elections around the world, this race will be decided by the people in the middle. This is a very polarized country. There are many people who will vote based on a party, either conservative or liberal. But it's those people who are undecided, who maybe are influenced by sort of kitchen table issues, like the green onion issue that you mentioned. Those people will decide the outcome of this election. Some of the other key issues which can tilt the tide for either party. Well, uh, one of the main issues here has been a strike by doctors at hospitals. This has gone on for many weeks, and in fact, it's been quite annoying. South Koreans have a cheap health care system. They're used to getting a very high level of health care. And while that health care level is still high, it's very crowded, and you have to wait a lot longer than you used to. I think there is a sense here that uh, this sort of strike by the doctors and sort of the inability of the government to give any ground is related to politics. There's an understanding that this will be resolved after this election wraps up. And I think a lot of people are fed up with that. We don't know how exactly that will play out in the election, of course, but it's very possible that this issue, which had benefited President Yoon at the beginning in terms of his presidential approval numbers, will actually end up hurting him as a result of tonight's vote. Bill, that gets me to the next point, which has to be discussed. What are the chances you see for the president's conservative People Power Party? And is a referendum for President Yoon suk yeol seeming imminent? It doesn't seem completely uh, impossible. However, it seems difficult that the opposition power would, would, number one, gain enough seats in order to do that. I mean, you know, it's within the realm of possibility. Mm -hmm. But the next thing is, if they actually had that power, would they do it? I mean... Uh, what exactly are we impeaching the president for? I mean, it's very cutthroat politics here in South Korea. There are always, and I mean this, always allegations of corruption, whether serious or not, in every direction. The question is sort of, what would be that big issue that you would actually impeach the president for? That's really not clear. 
maybe something like that could emerge. And if the power, if the opposition of power did have the ability to be able to do that, then it's something we would definitely have to watch, given sort of the, the rancorous <laughs> state of South Korean politics. All right, we'll be, uh, Bill, we'll let you go for now. Thank you so much for joining in. That was our Voice of America correspondent, Bill Gallo, joining us from Seoul.